We've got a guitar repair to do today. So, gotta drop this off. So let's take a look at what we got going on here. And there it is, that's a nice one. Acoustic guitar. And it is a Gibson. So, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this up on the bench and we'll go over what's wrong with it. The problem we're having with this guitar is we got a loose um, jack. So this is a jack and it's also a strap button. The jack and you'll plug your cord into the center of it. So basically what happened is this is completely tight on the outside but on the inside there's a nut and that nut has backed itself off. So we gotta go in through the sound tool and tighten that nut up. Now they make special tools that you can use to go inside there and tighten that up. Or if you got a small enough hand, which I don't, or a small enough arm, you can get your hand inside there, reach down in there, and get it tightened up. Because you only got to take it a couple turns, and you'll be good. So, but I'm going to show you how you can fix this at your house without going nowhere. Basically using a wrench, a small iron wrench, and a quarter inch dowel rod. And this is about a 10 minute fix. You'll have it done and good to go. So we're going to take a quarter inch dowel rod, okay, and you're going to slide it into the jack like that. From there, um, it's hand tight, so you should be able to spin that nut off. There we go. Now you can pull the dowel rod out for now. You're going to take a small Allen wrench, or if you've got a small screwdriver, that'll work too. You're just going to put it inside the hole here, like that. And then you're going to get this nut, which is a little bit loose, loose. So you also need that whenever you tighten it back up too. So now we're going to put the dowel back in, the jack. We're going to go ahead and screw this nut and this washer all the way off. And there we go. And now take this dowel rod, we're just going to slide this thing very carefully up inside the guitar what you're going to do is slide that jack back up until it's at the sound hole now at this point you can reach down to this nut right here and turn it a half a turn or three quarters of a turn and we want to turn it so that the nut goes towards the back of the guitar okay and you don't even have to take the strings off you can reach down inside there like that and turn it so you can reach it from this side and turn it so we want to turn it a half a turn like that. And then now we're going to take that jack and we're going to slide it very carefully back down to the jack hole. And now we're just going to pull that jack back down until we get it through the sound hole like that. Go ahead and put your washer and your nut on. And get it snugged down. Okay, then you go ahead and pull your down right out. So at this point, we got to get this nut tight. So that's where the Allen wrench comes in. We take the Allen wrench and your wrench. You got to put the Allen wrench in to hold the jack still, like that. Now from this point. It's going to start tightening up that nut. Now once you got this nut tight, go ahead and pull your Allen out. You don't need your wrench anymore. You got the jack or the strap button here that goes over top. Just put it on. Screw it down tight. And there you go. It's a done deal. Now the one thing you got to look for is the jack here. Um, you want that jack to be flush 
or maybe just ticking out like a 30 second or so. If the jack's up inside this strap button too far, when you put your cable in, the cable's not gonna make a connection because it's not gonna be going in deep enough and you won't get no sound. So just make sure that that jack is at the least flush. It needs to be at least flush or out, sticking past the back of the strap button. If it's sticking up in, you might have problems with the, um, um, getting a connection with your cable. And if it's sticking up in, you just need to take it back apart like I did before, go up in there and take like a half a turn off and bring it down. A half a turn should be enough to get this thing tight. And as you can see, it ain't going nowhere now. Okay folks, so that's gonna about do it for this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you in another video.